Hey everyone, this is Don with HD Liquid Catering and MobileBarStartup.com. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to figure out how many drinks you need to buy or your client needs to buy for their event. Now I know there's a lot of great online calculators out there, but sometimes you need to do stuff on your head and this is kind of how I've been doing it for the last 22 years and it's worked fairly consistently for me. So let's go to my little screen right here. First things first, uh, we're going to do a party for 150 guests and they just want to do beer and wine. What I like to do is take 150 guests times six. So that's drinks per person. That's usually a pretty good average right there of drinks per, for an event for people. That's usually about like one drink or two drinks for the first hour and then one drink per person per hour after that. So then with 150 times six, that equals 900 servings and then you take that 900 and divide that by two for the beer and wine. So that gives you 450 servings of beer and wine. And then I know, I know, before you guys even comment or say anything, my handwriting sucks, but you know what's up. So for 450 servings of beer and wine, now what you want to do is take 450 to figure out how much beer you buy, divide that by 24. Now, why 24? Because that's the number of beers in a case. So when you do 450 divided by 24, you come up to 18.75. Now, what I like to do there is just kind of round that down to 18 beers. Now, the second one is we have 450 divided by 2. Now, let me write that down here, 18 cases of beer, so I don't get lost there. 450 divided by 2, and that's your white and red wine. And you do that, actually, no, take that back. 450 divided by 60. Now, why 60? Because 60 is the number of servings per case of wine. Because... Each bottle equals five servings, and then one case is equal to 12 bottles. Hope you're following the math. So after that, what you do is 450 divided by six. Let's see, what is that, 450? No, six, 60, I mean. Divided by 60 is seven. Point five. Now what I like to do is round that one up to make a nice even number. So then what we'll have is eight cases of wine. So now if you roll this over here. So for this, you'll have eight cases of wine and 18 cases of beer. Let's go to another screen. So out of those 18 cases of beer, I'd usually like to have three different kinds. I used to have like, I like to have two light beers and then one um, import uh, or premium. So then that makes us six, six, six. Well, that's not a good number, but you would buy six cases of each beer. And then for wine, you would buy, since we talked about going back to it, we have eight cases right there. So we want to talk about eight cases divided by two for the red and the white. And then you would have red and then white, you would have four cases plus four cases. So at the end of the day, for 150 guests drinking beer and wine, you need to buy six cases each of three beers and then four cases each of wine. Now what those three beers and that wine is really up to your client. You decide to choose, but what you need to tell them is at the end of the day, 18 cases and eight cases of wine. And they're good to go. Now this usually works pretty good. Granted, they'll they'll um if they drink too much of one particular one, yeah, you're gonna run out, but you won't run out of beer. So hopefully this helps. If you have any more questions or if you need to know more about how to price out things or just um, questions about your mobile bar business, 
please visit my website at mobilebarstartup.com. And you can also follow me on social media at mobilebarstartup. See you guys later.